Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Myself Ashok and I am your home theater guide. Most of the people doesn't know about how many audio ports we have and what's their use. And also which type of audio port and cable will carry good amount of signal to our AV receiver and uh, speakers. Why? Because of nobody hasn't explained that that much widely. And also there might be a chance that we don't require that much of information for related to audio and video category. So why can't we? If we know that information, it would be helpful in future or it would be helpful instantly, right? So let's jump into our video. We will discuss about three basic audio ports and what's their use. And also we will discuss about what is balanced audio and what is unbalanced audio. So let's start the video. Audio ports. Toshiba company designed and developed a port dedicatedly for audio to carry digital audio signals and they named that port as Toshiba Link. In time, people are shortened the Toshiba Link name into Toslink. That is none other than our optical cable. Optical cable port. And this optical cable port has another alias name that is SPDIF port. SPDIF. S stands for Sony. P stands for Philips. And DIF stands for Digital Interface. SPDIF stands for Sony and Philips Digital Interface. Since on that year, Sony and Philips has used this audio port revolutionally in the audio and video segment with their some slight changes and modifications. That's why it got Alice name SPDIF port. And moving on to the next one, RCA ports. RCA ports. If we talk about the RCA ports, first we will remember that yellow, white and red color cables. Those are RCA family cable. And RCA stands for Radio Corporation of America. These RCA cables has two different types. First one single ended cable and the second one would be differential input. For perfect example for single ended cable is our coaxial cable. In real time environment coaxial cable the perfect example for coaxial cable is our dish cable. In our dish cable we have pin or we have tip in the middle and the mesh which is arounded on the plastic layer of second layer that is negative terminal which will carry ground signal. So for based on that cable we have RCA pin cable and the RCA cable will look like this and the middle of this we have tip and pin it will act as a positive terminal which will carry our signals and this cap will act as a negative terminal which will carry ground and the second type differential input for a perfect example of differential input we have three cables yellow red and white so we will discuss about this yellow cable why because of it will carry video signals so we will discuss on our next video about this one so let me discuss about this red and white cable for people who are confused about which color cable will go to which end so for them i have a tip for them so this cable red cable which will carry right side signal and the white cable which will carry left side signal to remember this easily red red will start from the letter of r and also right right will also start from the letter r remember that red and right r r will match that's it rest white and left okay moving on to the subject um, these rci cables will carry some noise it won't carry it will produce the noise how they can produce noise it doesn't have any motherboard it doesn't have any process to produce the noise simply it will carry the signal from one end to another end so what making them to uh, produce noise on that cable i will explain that so basically these RCA cables will fall under unbalanced audio category because of they will carry noise. Let me explain how they will produce noise. What making them to produce this noise? Basically according to electronics we have a theory. If any electricity or if any signal is passing through a cable, there are some electromagnetic fields generate around that cable. We have a theory based on this one. Basically, the electromagnetic field which was generated while passing the current or while passing the signal on the cable will absorb some unrequired frequencies from air. Unrequired frequencies in the sense of our mobile phone signals, some different different types of signal carrier signals and also some radiations which is surrounded by us. These type of things will come under unnecessary frequencies.
तो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड डेफिनेटली इट विल ऑब्जर्व सम काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम द एयर एंड विच डेफिनेटली एफेक्ट्स द सिग्नल विच इज पासिंग थ्रू बाय पॉजिटिव टर्नल ऑन दिस वायर सो दैट मेकिंग अस एक्चुअली द सिग्नल्स विच इज कैचड बाय दैट वायर इट इट मे कॉज टू डिस्टर्ब आवर सिग्नल्स विच इज पासिंग ऑन दैट वायर दैट इज कॉल्ड नॉइस एंड दिस एंटायर थिंग विल कॉल्ड इन आवर जनरल लैंग्वेज एंटेना इफेक्ट so to outcome this unbalanced audio into balanced audio segment to outcome this noise to remove this noise from the cable we we got a another segment xlr cables xlr cables xlr xlr stands for external line return and this cable and this port will look like this it has three carriers first pin which is acting as a positive terminal and which is carrying our main signals and the second pin which will act as a ground and the third one which is on the bottom which will act as a negative terminal and this negative terminal what it will do it will take the signal from our receiver uh, it will take the signal from the source and it will carry the signal in 180 degrees phase polarity angle i mean if any human is standing with the if any human is standing with his legs consider that as a zero degree phase when that same human have the capability to lift their body with their hands and he is standing with their hands let's consider that as a 180 degree phase angle and the signals will pass from one end to another end whatever the antenna effect is affecting on rca cables the same effect will happens on the xlr cables as well why because of those are also cable these are also cables and at the point of output the signal which is carried by negative terminal is passing in 180 degrees phase angle so at the time of output immediately the negative terminal signal would be turns into 0 degrees phase polarity exactly at that point whatever the antenna effect caused to disturb the signal and added the noise immediately it got cancelled itself and we will get the 100% pure signal clarity we have one more signal passing on our positive terminal right at the output end our av receiver or subwoofer whatever the high end device we are using it will take the reference of that negative terminal signal and it will remove what are all the noise and what are all the unwanted frequencies added on the positive terminal signal immediately we have two signals and it will combine together it will consolidate the two signals to get good audio processing so that's why we are getting 100% signal what we inputted here and what why what we got on output side so that's that's why these these xlr cables and this xlr port will consider as a balanced audio port yeah these many things will happen on xlr ports and these xlr ports will also consider that as rca cable family is a type 2 differential input port as well so some kind of same process will happens on the type 2 differential input type Uh, one of the one of my subscriber has asked me one question that so i am using a 3.5 mm jack to rca cable which is red and white if i connected that to my home theater with uh, my tv i am not getting 5.1 audio why because of you won't get bro uh, you are using red and white cable which is connected to your right side and left side and 3.5 mm jack has only three or four connections on that uh, pin it will it will produce only two channel audio according to your rca cable to red and white so whatever the 10.1 7.1 11.1 13.1 one channel speakers output you have you only get right and left sounds try to use optical cable it will carry digital signal which is compressed audio 5.1 dolby digital or dolby digital plus 7.1 so it is very useful for you to connect using uh, your optical cable to your uh, normal end uh, home theater if you have a lower end subwoofer and speakers which is having five red colors and uh, five which which is having five ports five or six ports one dedicated for subwoofer and five dedicated for five speakers if you connect five speakers with five different cables five different ports definitely you will get 5.1 audio if you connect your 5.1 system with using only two input ports you won't get 5.1 audio you are blaming yourself that you are getting 5.1 audio and also i given original audio file links in my audio basics series one first video 
go and check that videos so that's it guys that's all for today's video if you like my information and if you like my stuff just click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to help me more i don't want to require any stuff from you apart from only one small help that just to subscribe my channel and refer my channel by sharing my channel link to your family member or if you are your friend which will helps him or which will helps you a lot definitely those things will helps me a lot thanks for watching my video have a great day bye definitely we will meet in our next video thanks again thanks for watching my video have a great day bye